so welcome to a uh, dark and gloomy Monday morning commute. Tra oh, down the f oh, fucking hell. Welcome back to the channel everybody and welcome to a dark and gloomy Monday morning. Look at those rain clouds coming in. However, Jim Diesel's not scared because I've uh, coated the bike in AC50. So, uh, all of all that crap on the road. So, uh, I did this yesterday. So what we'll do is uh, cut back to yesterday uh, with Jim back in the back cave. Off you go. Welcome to the back cave and this is ACF50. This is what I bought off eBay. It cost me £13. As recommended by Maverick from Top Gun himself, he puts it all over his uh, F-18 Hornet, or the US Navy does. And um, this stuff will uh, stop corrosion and it will also um, prevent more corrosion. It also neutralises road salt. So, as you know, I ride all year round and I don't want to get this baby too dirty, especially with the road salt. Absolutely destroy the bike. So, I've already sprayed it all over the bike so far, um, all over all the panels forks, brake calipers, wheels, even in here at the bottom of the fairing, the fairing where the ra uh, oil radiator is. And uh, yeah, so far um, it's, come up, it's come up quite good. Um, I haven't actually used it on the road yet, so it'd be interesting to see. Now they say you only have to spray it on once every 12 months, but obviously if you're using it all year round, then uh, you're gonna need to uh, reapply it. So I've even, you can see I've put it on a gorgeous swing arm and uh, yeah everything's coated so uh, I'll just show you the leaflet that came with it just to show you what's going on here oh there goes my early warning Mr Reindeer check him out yeah so you can put this all over the bike this is in the diagram and you've you got up the top there it says you can put it on your head your suspension your relays connectors undercarriage put it on chrome put it in ignition switches security systems kills corrosion, uh, neutralizes road salt, and um, yeah, and if you're gonna put your store your bike over a winter, if you don't use it all year round, you can uh, obviously put it all over the bike and then store your bike and it will prevent the bike from going rusty, theoretically. So yeah, that's what I've done. So I'll give you another update on this later. And uh, do you like what I've got here? Look, I bought me little covers to keep me brake and me clutch reservoir, I'll keep them uh, nice and warm. Anyway, let's get back to Jim on the bike. And back on the bike. So that was the back cave. I hope you like my early warning device, uh, the reindeer. It scares off all those burglars and uh, bike thieves. Very good stuff. So yeah, that's the ACF 50. That's what I've got on the bike at the minute. Um, obviously, it was wet this morning. And now, it's kind of like dried out. So I've got nice dry roads, which is very nice. So, uh, I'll find somewhere to pull over in a minute and we'll just have a look at the uh, state of the bike and how dirty it is at the minute. But first, uh, well I was going to say we're going to get past these lot, but that ain't happening is it? Because look at all that traffic coming the other way. Yeah, the joys of riding in winter. It's not good is it? You have to cape on top of the bike, keeping it clean. Absolutely epic, it really is. So we've got these, I think these are average speed cameras, I think they are there. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if they're traffic monitoring cameras or actual average speed cameras. Yeah, let's get past these guys. There we go, there's another one of those cameras. Soon find out if we get a speeding ticket come through the post and I'll know, won't I? Jim will find out if it is actually average speed or just a traffic monitoring bullshit, I don't know. Oh, got his eye beam on, bell end. <laughs> the only good thing about the fact that we've had a lot of rain is the fact that uh, it's going to wash away all that road salt as I clean my uh, GoPro. Um, which is a good thing. I find that it just makes the, I'm, I'm sure, I don't know if anyone else has experienced, it just makes the road so slippery, all that road salt, when they stick it down. And mixed with the water, slimy, horrible sludge on the roads. So I'm on my way home, and uh, Jim is cooking dinner tonight, and we're having a sausage casserole. 
for the kids. The missus is away. She's on her way back from uh, London. So uh, get my ass back, do some cooking, get this baby clean as well. Theoretically, with this uh, the ACF 50 that's all over it, it should just be a case of uh, well, just rinsing it off, and it should just come off uber easy. Yeah, I'll tell you what, let's uh, pull in here, and I'll show you. Oh, fucking hell, don't want to pull in here. Probably didn't want to pull in here actually. It's a bit manky. Let's back up a bit. Yeah, look at all that crap. Oh, I'm not going to be able to find neutral now, am I? Oh, there we go. Straight in. Uh, I'll tell you what, take the selfie cam off. Just have a look around to show you the crap that's on it already. This is what happens when you ride on the filthy streets of uh, Suffolk. So we got it on the... Uh, on there. All over the forks. Bit down the bottom. It's good because the top half of the bike obviously stays clean. But this is the worst bit. Check that out. That is manky. Absolutely honking. It's criminal, isn't it? Woo Absolutely criminal. Anyway, let's put that back on here. I need to have a word with myself riding the bike and getting it that dirty. Anyway, we're good. We're good. We've just got the fucking wheels covered in mud now as well. And I've got fucking cramp there. My, my bike up, my leg. Oh, Jen. Seriously? Oh, stand up. So on that note, with the cramp setting in, Tim Diesel's gonna end that one there. And like always say, if you like my videos, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, smash that red subscribe button. And if you are a subscriber, hit the notification bell. That way, every time this screamer uploads a video, you will get notified. And that, my friends, is uh, Jim Diesel out. Welcome back, and that was the uh, back cave. A lot of rain there, so um, yeah, that's the joys of uh, riding in winter. I think uh, I'm going to scrap all that because that was bullshit. I don't know what I'm talking about.